Hello everyone, GameDog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. Now, for those of you who are curious, here's what happens when, uh, when the, uh-oh, well, here's what happens if, um, if the meter goes all the way up. Everyone takes a little bit of damage. It's nothing too crazy. Um, it's actually, like, it's very, it's very easily reversed, actually. You can fix it very easily, but, yeah, it's just kind of, it's still something you should kind of avoid. Uh, regardless, so let's don't, not, not mindly, let's, uh, use a, oh, right, okay. In addition to Oasis, you can also find these guys. Um, let me just get my team ready real quick, because we have something a little bit deadly coming up. Oh, you know what we should do? We should show off the level 4 um, uh, Mercury Summon while we're here. But yeah, occasionally if you uh, go into a um, Oasis and it's one of these things, um, you're going to be fighting an ant lion. You're not going to get all cool and everything. So there is actually a threat um, to doing this. Like You do have to be a little bit careful when uh, while you're out here. Let's see. Um... I think it's like generally the fastest. Oh, right, right, yeah, okay. Here's a summon. Uh, Boreas, the god of the north wind. This is a really cool looking summon, and uh, one I predict will be using a lot in this area just because of how dangerous it can be. Okay, these guys are weak to wire. He's going to do a ton of damage. Why is he not, why is Ivan not going first? Okay, here we go. Three hundred and sixty-one damage. That is a really cool animation. Oh, that was just enough to kill him. Okay, good. That is perfect, actually. All right, let's head back up here again. I can't stop sweating. I wish I'd brought a change of clothes. <laughs> okay, in, in my, I got into the habit of reading literally everything now, so I, I'm, I'm probably just going to be saying each and every one of those, even though like it's really just like ten different things. Avergas, though, if I remember correctly, this room is actually very large. Um, so large, in fact, that I am going to be glancing over my at my map. Uh, Almost the entire time. Let's see. Okay, these are, I like the look of these guys too. These are salamanders. Um, let's see here. Let's uh, let's try to use. Um, I'm gonna use sleep. Actually, I'm gonna use mist because I really don't know what these guys do, and I'd much rather they be asleep. In fact, let's actually try to put the other one to sleep as well. There we go. Let's see if we can actually um, do some sort of like sleep stats on these guys. And I'm assuming they're gonna be weak to water as well. Mia really doesn't start to become a really powerful fighter until later on. She's really just your go-to healer for the time being. And even then, I find Isaac a little bit better at that kind of thing. Who knows? Like, like she's definitely one of those characters who gets better as the game goes on. Like, she's actually not that great starting out, in my opinion. Uh, that's a little bit irrelevant, though. Okay, Ivan is taking a ton of damage. Should probably try to fix that as soon as possible. Uh, let's see. Okay, we only have one Salamander left. Let's see. Um, okay, I don't want to use another Water of Life, actually. I could use a Vile. Um, I very realistically could use a Vile. Let's just go for regular attacks for the time being. You do have Cure Well, due to the gin I gave you, so I think that'll work for the time being. Yeah, there we go. We're going to get you back at the full health. I should probably heal me and Garrett after this, too. Oh, man, look at the stats, actually. I should probably heal everyone. Yeah, just give me a second. I'll go ahead and do that. Let's see. Let's use Mia. Oh, man. One thing I do really like about Mia... Oh, no, she doesn't have her magic right now, but Mia has an insane amount of PP. <laughs> like, she's like one of... She, she has a really large amount of magic, actually, which is very cool because, uh, well, you're, you're going to be using Synergy a lot with her. Um, let's see here. Ugh, this desert is much harder than I ever imagined. Yeah, we've actually seen that one before. Okay, let's start searching around here. You can also find items while in these areas. Let's see, like, this one we got a potion. Um, and contrary to what they do in other games like this, a potion act is actually a full heal in Golden Sun. Let's see, according to my, uh, map, there is a- oh, bap. Okay, there's an oasis in that circle right over there. Uh, which I will more than happy- happily jump into as soon as we are done with this battle here. Let's see, this shouldn't take too, uh, too, um, too long. These guys are actually very deadly, actually, or at the very least they have a lot of health. Yeah, there it goes. It takes almost a full turn to take them out. Now, okay, there is also, I believe, a Ginny out here. Um, oh, okay, we got another Antlion. I, yo, I'm just gonna take these guys out whenever I see them. Like, I might as well. It's more experience, and, uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I just wanna, like, take care of these guys as well. Um, yeah, that should do the trick right there. I, I could probably try to get some more, um, synergy into, like, the other guys, some, some more Mercury synergies, but it seems to be working out pretty well for the time being. Let's see, let's use Ragnarok, because it's the most cool-looking attack on Earth, basically. Let's see, Boreas, and, uh, what's... Uh, oh, yeah, like, a, like with everyone else, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, because I've always been bad at pronouncing, like, ancient god names and things of that like. I'm gonna pronounce it Boreas for the time being. Yeah, so we'll take him out. Uh, yeah, we have proven that this is more than enough to take this guy out, actually. 360 damage. Like, that is an insane amount for a game like this. Let's see. Okay, so the Ginny was not in that area right there. Let's see. I'm assuming it's going to be here. Okay, no, no, it's not. But there is an Oasis, which means we're going to get our cool on again. <laughs> Alright, let's, um, 
Let's get over here, and uh, I want to stay over here. Ah, yes, we have a Synergy Stone. You know what that means? Let's actually you take this as an opportunity to heal everyone up, because, well, we're going to get the Synergy back for it anyway. Basically, look at this as kind of like a full heal. Like, you, like you, you, you recover all your Synergy, you recover all your health, everything is good for you. Uh, let's see here. Now, what is up in this direction? Okay, we got more battles here. Oh, Fighter Beast. Okay, um, these guys are weak to, uh, to wind. Uh, which means I could probably use Astral Blast in, like, one of your magic. That, that alone could probably enough to be enough to kill him, actually. Um, let's see. Probably, or maybe not. They really don't have that much health, actually. Like, th these enemies are really not that most dangerous on Earth. Oh, unless they duplicate like that. But even then, they're not really that deadly, honestly. Yeah, we'll take this guy out pretty efficiently right here. Okay, good. There we go. <laughs> like, it's just four guys beating up on a single bee. My goodness. Okay, um, let's see. So, like I was saying before, I was interrupted by Mia. We have some, we have another, um, place right down here. Uh, and then I want to see, like, down here we have sort of, like, a double... Uh-oh, okay, well, okay, we have some more rat fighters. Um, and these grubs. I love the look of these enemies. Like, those grubs are really fine to me for whatever reason. <laughs> let's see, let's actually use Zephyr, actually. Uh, and then Magrove technically does more damage. I'll go for that, too, and then Drench. And then from there, I want to say... Let's see, this should be enough to take all these... Actually, no, one, of the, one or two of them might still live after this. Okay, we took the first grub out. They actually don't have that much help up this necessary. Oh, and apparently your Jin do not, or your Jin do not have priority. That was actually something I was kind of wondering. Smoke bomb is going to put myself in delusion. That is not really too um too crazy, actually. Let's see, we'll take those guys out. There's only like one guy left. Yeah, okay, we'll just take down this rat fighter. There we go. Okay, that's more than enough to take him out. Okay, so um, let's see. I want to say down here is like a double area. No, that's a that's an that's an ant lion right there. What about over here? Oh, uh, I may have actually searched this place before. No, it's just an empty area. I might have to risk taking a heat wave now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, we're gonna be taking a little bit of damage pretty soon, I'd imagine. Oh, there's the genie right there. Okay, um, before I take any ne unnecessary damage, I actually want to go out of my way to take this guy out. Um, let's see here. I actually completely forgot what the level 4 Jupiter, um, summoner was, but we will take- Wait, what? Oh, you don't have to fight this one. All oh, right, I forgot about that. That's really cool. <laughs> I guess they wanted to take, um, yeah, smog. I guess they wanted to take some mercy on you since it's gonna be a little bit hard to actually survive out here. But then again, that's all right because I really love this dungeon. So what does this guy do? Veil of foe, in, uh, yeah, veil of foe's vision in smoke. So it deludes a, a certain uh, a certain character, and it's going to make you in an a um an enhancer if I give it to you. So that gives you protect. Um, doesn't seem to give you much else, but it's still kind of cool. I can see myself using protect against some bosses. Yo, I think I'm just gonna fight this guy right now. I'll put all of my um. Yeah, I'll put all of my, uh, yeah, Mercury Jin, um, on these guys, because I might as well take them all out. I mean, it's free experience, basically, given how little of a heart of time I have with these guys. Like, you can just take them out very simply, actually. So, let's see, that's Ragnarok, um, yeah, I think I might use Protect for the boss this area, actually. Um, because there is a boss in, like, every single area, and then Drench, because these guys are weak to water, uh, which is very, very nice. Let's see, yeah, looking at my map, I don't think we're gonna get to an Oasis in time, but I, um... I don't think we're gonna get. Yeah, I do not believe we're gonna get to an oasis in time for uh, the heat wave to hit us. So we're gonna be taking some damage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll just like yeah, just take the damage. Actually, man, that does more damage than I remember doing. Um. Let's see. Let's uh, let's head over here. I want to say. Um. I want to say. Oh, we, I want to say in this circle right here is another oasis. Yes, I was correct on that. Um, and then down here is another treasure behind like one of these things. Yes. Okay. And here we have some gold. Seven hundred and seventy-seven gold. That's not too awful actually okay now i believe uh, next we have to come up here um is this an oasis right here it might be oh no that's just an ant line well we know the drill here we might as well take this guy out so fizz sleep spritz oh you know what i could do i could use this opportunity to show off the um the level 4 jupiter summon as well um because i don't 100 percent remember what it is off the top of my head but i do remember it being kind of cool looking so we'll uh we'll go ahead and do that so we'll go for ragnarok um let's see we'll go for oh man you have a lot of fire magic now let's see um I could just have used. Oh right, it was Thor. Oh man, I love Thor in this game. Thor is such a cool looking summon. Um, I'll have you use Boreas actually. I'll have you use Thor, and then um, I will have you. Actually, wait a second. I'm gonna have Ivan heal. Um, I might as well have him heal someone. I'll have him heal uh, himself. Actually, oh, no, no, not that. That's scary. I'll have him heal himself, and then I will have uh, Mia use Thor. Now, this is a cool summon too. That does a lot of damage, by the way. <laughs> All the level 4 summons are really impressive looking and just really amazing. Let's see. So, yeah, Garrett is faster because I still have those turtle boots. So, yeah, this should be more than enough to kill him, actually. Especially after especially after summoning the Wrath of Thor, basically. Okay, good. So, we got, we took care of him. I got a level up off of that. Pretty, it's pretty cool. And Mia got a level up, too. That is pretty solid. All right. So, um, I went ahead 
back this way to this oasis if I have time. I'm not gonna have time. I'm gonna take some damage here. Okay, um, you know, I don't want to test this out, but I'm not 100% sure what happens if a character dies via heat wave or if they can die via heat wave. Um, it's just something I'd much rather not really bother checking. Okay, uh, we have no one, one of these over here. We got some lucky pepper. And, oh, no, the chest is empty now, but, um, all right, you can, you can check empty chests for whatever reason, but let's see, let's use a lucky, um, yeah, let's use some lucky pepper on myself. I believe luck dictates how often you get critical hits and things like that, like, I think it's, like, literally percentage-wise. Um, and then from there, I do see a vortex of, uh, of, um, of sand over there, so we all know what that means. That means there's going to be another, um, um, another one of these fools we can fight. Let's see, um, if I go off screen, does it negate the battle? No, it doesn't, actually. Okay, well... If you like to jump into their um, into their field, they they hurt you, which I guess is kind of um, I, I think the goal of these guys is to trick you somewhat because I think what you're meant to do is you're meant to like stand on top of the circle and then go ahead and use um use reveal in order to reveal the oasis so you can jump right into it. But you can actually do it a little bit farther away and thus you won't fall into these traps with the uh, with the ant lines. I mean, heck, it's almost as if they're falling into traps with me <laughs> when I do this kind of thing. Okay, I'll take those guys out once again. Not nothing too crazy around there. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to, uh, is it this one that's the Oasis? No, it's this one over here that's the Oasis. I don't want to take too many heat waves while in here, um, because, uh-oh, okay, well, we have another battle right here. At the very least, we can, uh, you know what would be kind of weird, actually? If you could take damage while in, um, you're with the fire. I, I, what would be kind of weird is if you could take damage while, um, uh, uh, from one of these guys while you are, uh, is if you could take damage from the, uh, from the heat wave while you're in a battle. Like, every turn, uh, that would go by is, um, is like a little bit of damage you take. That'd be kind of awful, actually. I'm not sure if I'd like that, but it'd be certainly kind of interesting. Let's see. He's going to use Blast on us, and like everything, Synergy is super dangerous. Like, honestly, it's always when the enemies use it that it's so deadly, because it does like a quarter of your health per hit. Um, we could probably just spam attack on the Salamander and take care of him at this point. Yeah, we could. Okay, good. So, uh, let's reveal this Oasis right here. There we go. Jump right in. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> and then, uh, and then I say we head over here and get out of this area. Now, that was the biggest part of the dungeon right there. There's really not much left, actually. It's really just a few of these. All right, these sand waterfalls are kind of deadly, too. Let's see if we can, um... I believe if you run through them... Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. That, that um, depletes your, um... Uh, your... Yeah, that actually decreases, uh... Or that actually increases the, uh, the heat meter as well. Oh, by the way, don't get into... Uh, try to strive to knock into a, a talk or a conversation whenever you're in one of those. I know that's not your fault if that happens, but, um... It can sweep you away down to the lower level, and that is a little bit deadly when that does happen. Uh, let's see. This place is a little bit twisting, if, uh, if I remember correctly. What is over here, actually? Um, I want to say... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I know exactly where we are, actually. Okay, I want to say the next area is um, behind this wall. No, it's not. Okay, well, we have a reveal that you can actually use reveal to uh, to reveal uh, hidden passageways. And, uh, oh, oh, man, this uh, dead end right here. You know what? We actually have something big coming up pretty soon, so I think I'll see you guys next time. So there we go. Thanks for watching.